video we will discuss on abdominal hysterectomy what is abdominal hysterectomy abdominal hysterectomy means removal of the uterus through the abdomen when we should do abdominal hysterectomy or indications what are the types and indications of abdominal hysterectomy what are the types of abdominal hysterectomy there are three types of abdominal hysterectomy total abdominal hysterectomy subtotal hysterectomy radical hysterectomy or vardin's hysterectomy uh, any type of hysterectomy may or may not be associated with salpingo oophorectomy now what are the indications of abdominal hysterectomy or when we should do abdominal hysterectomy we do abdominal hysterectomy in uh, some gynecological uh, cases also some obstetric causes and traumatic cause what are the um, uh, gynecological conditions when we do abdominal hysterectomy in some benign conditions also uh, malignant conditions we do abdominal hysterectomy what are the benign conditions the benign conditions when we do abdominal hysterectomy are fibromyoma of the uterus dysfunctional uterine bleeding extensive pelvic inflammatory disease endometriosis adenomyosis of uterus also benign ovarian tumor after 45 years molar pregnancy after 40 years or parity is 3 or more we also do abdominal hysterectomy in case of chronic retroversion of uterus and in malignant uh, cases where we do abdominal hysterectomy are malignant ovarian tumor endometrial carcinoma cervix also carcinoma of the fallopian tube uh, obstetric causes where we do abdominal hysterectomy are in case of severe uncontrollable postpartum hemorrhage morbid placental adhesion infected uterus diseased uterus such as uh, multiple uh, fibroid uterus also ruptured uterus in such cases we do abdominal hysterectomy what is the traumatic cause where the trauma we do abdominal hysterectomy in case of perforation of the uterus during dnc during uh, mr we also do when bleeding um, uh, is uh, uh, profuse having intra abdominal bleeding we do abdominal hysterectomy when uterus is lacerated badly lacerated or perforated then we do abdominal hysterectomy what is the procedure of abdominal hysterectomy we first place the patient in supine position then uh, we choose one of the two incision phenanstial incision or right paramedian incision usually we do abdominal hysterectomy in phenanstial incision and after incision when incision is complete then the pelvis or pelvic cavity is assessed for any pathology for extent of pathology and uh, then we introduce a um, uh, morris retractor to retract the lower margin of the incision we brought the uterus out of the incision and uh, inspect the uterus also fallopian tube and we decide the plan what will we do if uh, we decide uh, the abdominal hysterectomy is necessary then uh, we um, place uh, two straight uh, clamp on either side of the uterus near uh, cornu and uh, then we decide whether we do salpingo oophorectomy or we will preserve the ovary if we want to preserve the ovary then we uh, place uh, two curved clamp two curved clamp side by side near the cornu of the uterus as close to uterus as possible and we divide the tissue in between two clamp 
then we uh, transfixation suture uh, with uh, chromic catgut number 1 or with vitril after ligature uh, then uh, we find the peritoneum loose peritoneum which is loosely attached to the cervix uh, near the internal os and uh, with the help of two artery forceps, we lift the loose peritoneum and divide in between two artery forceps and push uh, the bladder down uh, to avoid any injury to ureter. The bladder is drawn down with the help of a sponge or gauze which is held with a sponge holding forceps. Then when the bladder is drawn down, we place the second uh, clump in case of first clump. If we, uh, pres we uh, want to remove the ovary, then uh, we place two curved forceps or two curved clump below the ovary in the infundibulo pelvic ligament and we divide the ligament in between to clump and transfixation suture is given. Then uh, after uh, when the bladder is drawn down, then we ligate the uterine vessels. So first clump hold the ovarian ligament, fallopian tube, round ligament. If the uterus is uh, large enough, then round ligament is separately ligated, separately ligated, transfixation suture is given separately for round ligament. Then uh, we uh, place the second clump and uh, to hold the uterine vessels uh, as close to uterus as possible. Then the tissues are separated with a scalpel and uh, the transfixation another transfixation suture is given with uh, chromic catgut or with vitriol uh, then third clump is given the third clump includes mackendorff's ligament uterus sacral ligaments so the third clump includes mackendorff's ligament and uterus sacral ligaments then with the help of uh, to alice tissue forcep the uh, interior wall of the vagina is held and dissected in between two tissues and uh, the cervix is uh, held with another tissue and cervix is separated from the vaginal bolt. Uterus is removed from the abdomen. Then uh, the bolt is ligated with chromic uh, catgut or vicryl. We usually use vicryl or dexan to suture the vault, vaginal vault. And when vault is closed, abdomen is closed in layers. This is uh, abdominal hysterectomy. Uh, what is subtotal hysterectomy? Removal of the corpus of the uterus leaving behind the cervix is called subtotal hysterectomy. What is the indications of subtotal hysterectomy or when will we do subtotal hysterectomy? Usually subtotal hysterectomy is done in some obstetric cases but also uh, we do subtotal hysterectomy in two or three gynecologic uh, cases. The obstetric um, cases are uncontrollable PPH, morbid uh, placental adhesion, infected uterus, diseased uterus, ruptured uterus, etc. And in uh, gynecologic cases where we do subtotal hysterectomy are extensive pelvic inflammatory disease and endometriosis involving rectovaginal septum. What are the complications of hysterectomy as a whole, abdominal hysterectomy? There are some complications may occur 
paraoperative and postoperative complications may occur. Paraoperative complications are hemorrhage, injury to the adjacent structures like bladder, intestine, omentum, ureter, and also anesthetic hazards, which includes cardiac arrest. What are the postoperative complications of abdominal hysterectomy? The postoperative complications may be divided into immediate postoperative complications and late or delayed postoperative complications and remote complications. Immediate postoperative complications are hemorrhage, reactionary hemorrhage, and secondary hemorrhage. A reactionary hemorrhage usually occurs within 24 hours and secondary hemorrhage occurs after 24 hours up to 14 days and another immediate complication is a paralytic ileus or abdominal paralytic ileus or intestinal obstruction so immediate post operative complications are hemorrhage paralytic ileus intestinal obstruction and delayed complications are cystitis, wound infection, wound disruption, vast abdomen, uh, also deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. And another very important uh, delayed complication is genitourinary fistula which usually occurs when hysterectomy is done in unskilled hand and uh, vault hematoma, vault infection, uh, vault abscess may also occur. So delayed complications are cystitis, wound infection, wound disruption, vast abdomen, also deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, genitourinary fistula, vault infection, vault hematoma, vault abscess. What are the remote complications of abdominal hysterectomy? Remote complications include vault granuloma, vaginal discharge, and uh, incisional hernia, vault prolapse, and stump carcinoma in case of subtotal hysterectomy. So, remote complications are vault granuloma, vaginal discharge, vault prolapse, incisional hernia, stump carcinoma in case of subtotal hysterectomy. This is all about uh, abdominal hysterectomy and uh, in next class we will know about vaginal hysterectomy.